It's that time again, people. Uh, a new week begins. Moody Monday. Been a while since we were around here. That, folks, is Admiralty Arch, not the real thing. Just uh, a ghastly uh, imitation that's been put up uh, by, I'm guessing, the Waldorf. Just uh, looking at the way down. They've kind of opened some small areas here uh, to be able to get through. It's been a real mess, this entire area. Uh, I'm at the Trafalgar Square end of the Mall. Now, uh, before I get over to uh, our favourite spot, uh, a small update, uh, folks, just to avoid uh, another 500 emails. Uh, I am aware that uh, a private phone call uh, has been posted on another channel. Uh, no, my consent was not given. No, I was not informed that the call would be recorded. Uh, but then again, you know, uh, the gunner wasn't informed that uh, her private moment would be uh, unscrupulously shared and sold around the world uh, for financial profit. So it's not really a surprise. Um, one thing I will refrain from doing, obviously now, is recommending uh, any other channels. Uh, better not to, isn't it, really? Uh, plus, folks, I mean, let's be honest, you've got all you need here, haven't you? Just two minor points. Uh, this whole nonsense about, you know, I only found out uh, about the message from the gun later on, hence I didn't delete the video. Uh, it's a nonsense, folks. At 10.02 yesterday morning, uh, I made it very clear in the group chat uh, that parties were not happy and that it should be removed. There was no assistance, it was simply friendly guidance. Uh, it was roughly 10 hours later, give or take, uh, that supposedly those messages were, uh, were read and then a further two hours later before the videos were finally removed. So all in all, about 12 hours of the videos being up uh, unnecessarily and that's a shame but and this is all that matters the footage was removed in the end okay so well done everybody uh, for doing the right thing and applying pressure where it's deserved because at the end of the day it's pretty clear that if a lot of people are saying to you look you need to rethink what you've just decided to do it was a bad decision and you're still being defensive and argumentative and trying to slide out of it with completely nonsensical excuses such as I didn't see the message or other people posted it, so I will too. I'll remember that next time I see somebody committing suicide on, uh, on a clifftop or on a bridge. They did it, so I could do it too. <laughs> Just like, what kind of a nonsensical argument is that? Oh, one second, I've seen the... Uh, he's on the other side of the road there. One minute. Hold on one second, uh, I'm gonna put him on the camera. <laughs> hey. Are you, uh, <laughs> it's a good question. I think they're going to go all the way along Horse Guards Avenue around the end again, probably, aren't they, really? Unless they try and squeeze in this small gap. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. At times, myself and you, when you were a younger man, we've both fitted into smaller gaps than we can see here. Am I right or not? <laughs> I'll leave you with that thought. <laughs> oh, goodness me. All right, folks. Uh, yes, I mean, it's true. Uh, Bit of, bit of a mess going on here still. Why? Because we've got the bigwigs tent uh, being erected. Uh, and to be honest, folks, that's a very impressive erection, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, that's really, really impressive. That will be the, uh, the VIP area, or the VVVV VIP area, right there. Okay. Uh, now, we decided to enter the parade ground this side today. Um, well, two reasons, actually. One, it's been a while, and secondly, more importantly, I was kind of hoping we might be able to capture uh, those bays arriving. I'm pretty sure we will. Look, see, this will uh, be the VIP tent in no time at all for the Military Musical Spectacular. I thought, to be honest, that they'd uh, finished building all of this, uh, but these uh, marquee hire uh, construction companies uh, probably charged an arm and a leg to do the work outside of normal business hours over the weekend. Uh, and budgets being tight in all these days, austerity, inflation, blah, blah, blah. That might well explain why they took the other option. I'm just trying to think. It's not sunny this morning, and it's not hot this morning, but one thing it is, 
It's very humid, in fact. Exceptionally humid this morning. I just noticed. I don't know why. I mean, it just sort of dawned on me. So, yeah, hold on a second. Everyone's dressed in a very sort of, you know, summer-like manner, aren't they? Uh, except for the lovely gunners, of course, who are not uh, dressed in a summery manner. <laughs> They've uh, got their Busby's jackets and everything else on. But very, 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 extremely busy here, in fact, for a beginning of the week. I'm just wondering to myself, I think the clock, it's roughly five minutes, give or take. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to go into the yard. The reason being, much as it would be lovely to see the bays arriving, after they arrive and people will go through the tunnel into the yard, it's going to be absolutely chocker. Because if the queue's this massive at the back here already this morning, then by the time the, uh, the gunners arrive and ride through, it's going to be completely ridiculously busy in the tunnel and elsewhere. And you know, these are just the people that are creating this big circle. There are hundreds more just sort of loitering around. Add in everyone that's probably in the yard and at the front. And we've got way over a thousand people here, uh, I would suggest, this morning. Uh, and lots of bicycles, people. This is a popular London tour. I can't remember the name of it, actually. I'm just looking for it. Bike Tours. Hey, that's original. Bike Tours London. Yep. So I think I'll be smart and go through into the yard now. We will capture the arrival uh, of the bays. But I think to get a good spot, it's going to be sensible to go through now. Because if we get them coming across the prey ground, right over there where we were just now, where the marquee's being constructed, it will be impossible to run around here uh, and preempt a good spot in the yard before all of these other people do. Damn, it's crazy busy. Look at it. Flooding, flooding, flooding. Uh, and almost walking directly into my camera. Gosh. Where are they all from? I didn't think that, uh, that most people even like to get up this early. It's crazy early for all of this. I'm genuinely surprised, but hey, it is what it is. Oh, <laughs> sure he's taking a picture of. Okay, so we're in the yard. Hey, morning, guys. Uh, gunner on this side and behind me. Yep, two gunners in the yard. And shortly, very, very shortly, very shortly, <laughs> well, hopefully, uh, have them riding through on those bays. Looking across to the yard, we saw that there were, I think, seven. I think actually bullets to count. Seven, eight, nine, not sure. Gunners lined up, etc., ready to depart. And I'm sure they'll be delighted because they just finished the longer shift. And what do I mean by that? Well, they arrived Friday morning. It's now Monday morning. So they had three full days here, which, let's be honest, guys, you know, 72 hours is not easy. It doesn't matter if you're on the box. It doesn't matter where you are. It's still hard work, exceptionally hard work. Uh, we will go to the front shortly. Guard shop is just about to open, folks. If you want to run down and uh, give him some custom, that was the best time to do it. Get those early items before anyone else arrives. Okay, what have we got? Two, two and a half minutes. Yeah, I think I'll stay in the yard because they haven't yet arrived. But, oh, 11. <laughs> Even the, uh, the trooper's there. 11 o'clock. He is right. You are right, sir. 11 o'clock is when, uh, when we're expecting them, which will be any moment. They haven't yet hit the parade ground, but when they do, we should be able to see it. I'm very curious about exactly how they're going to enter because... Yes, there are two small gaps, but I mean, I guess if they come in, you know, one at a time, um, as opposed to two abreast. It might, yeah, it might work. Either or they might need to go kind of right around behind the marquee, which is going to be interesting because if they take that route around, a lot of the tourists are going to be like, hold on a second. Right, in fact, I can see them coming now. Wait, let's have a look and see if we can figure out where, which way they're going to go. I just saw the lead outrider for, uh, for the mounted police. Okay, right, let's zoom in, folks. It might be a little bit fuzzy, but they are going through that teeny-weeny tight gap I was talking about a little while ago. I mean, it's not that teeny, but I mean, it's certainly smaller than uh, the h cover I used to navigating. That's the bell for 11. Just about see it, can't we? That's the lead, uh, lead police horse. Very hard to hold it completely uh, stable, actually, when the woman's this zoomed in. Very. Okay, so that's uh, the uh, first 
police vehicle after the police horse. Uh, and there come the new gunners on those glorious bays. I can't see if they're all bays. I mean, it's looking at this moment as though they are. However, uh, I think my my choice, decision, whatever you want to call it, somewhat vindicated by the fact that, uh, as I predicted, most people will go to the back, leaving it reasonably quiet. I mean, even if the officers say to get back behind the white line, it's not going to be too bad, unless everybody decides pretty much simultaneously... Oh, someone got in trouble. Simultaneously to all run back through the uh, passageway alongside the tunnel, here into the yard. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but you know what? Guess we'll find out in a minute. Okay, so they've just arrived, as you can see, and they're just turning to line up opposite their colleagues on the parade ground. It's the last two gunners at the rear. In fact, I don't think we've ever captured that before, have we? Look, we've got we've got the light at the end of the tunnel, uh, and we've also got the light at the end of the tunnel on the left and the right. I don't know why we've never actually captured that view before that I remember in one of these videos. It's almost like a, a double window. Double portraiture onto the parade ground. Okay, so everyone that's coming to the courtyard behind me, uh, and all of whom, all of them will be seen shortly, coming in front of the camera, uh, are being told to get onto the side of the this side of the courtyard. It's funny, actually. I don't know if perhaps. Then again, it's still pretty early. I was going to say perhaps the guard change at the palace was cancelled, but. It's probably too early, realistically, if that has happened, for everyone to know about it and to have made their way down here. Bearing in mind that the uh, palace guard change doesn't even begin until 11. And we've just hit that now, so I don't think the guard change at the palace would have been cancelled. I think we've uh, we've got possibly the first uh, Monday in peak season. I, don't, I mean, I don't know. We're going to see them, aren't we? I mean, that number of people in the, on the playground is probably the second highest... I've seen actually this year. Just when you think uh, it's not going to get any busier, it's a surprise, and hey, it does. So they're just uh, shouting out the commands and so on across the parade ground at the back, uh, and here they come, folks. Here they come. Now I'm hoping that the uh, officers will be pretty chill this morning because, as I said, most people are at the back. Very few people are here in the yard. In fact, I'm the only one filming here in the yard. Which uh, I guess is a boon, isn't it, for, for myself and all of you watching. All right, here they come, guys. Super crystal clear, right at the front footage of every single bay. One, two, three, four, five. All looking thoroughly splendid and magnificent. I mean, when it comes to sort of central London views of a Monday morning, I can't think of anything better. Is there anything better than this? I don't know. I was going to have a walk. There's rain coming in later on, so I thought I'd just see this and then go get back to home. I'm just trying to think. I mean, it's either here or that Thai brothel in Paddington. <laughs> I, I, yeah, here. My money. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely better to be here. They, uh, the central bollards went down. They came in as normal and then did a snake move. <laughs> ah, OK. So there was a bit of a tight fit. Yeah. They came in single file or in twos? No, no. In file as normal. OK. Uh, there are all the workmen out there one of them scrambling to get a ladder out the way. <laughs> it's, it's funny, I was thinking to myself they're obviously making a lot of noise clanking around I don't know why nobody had said to them maybe guys just like pause for five minutes yeah. while, the, while the gunners are coming through I mean after the two incidents we've had already if we have a third incident with horses getting freaked and running away I think it's yeah. going to be an issue isn't yeah. it? to be honest, so let's hope that doesn't happen I got worried for a moment out there wondering if they're going to come around the front for a change <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice actually, I mean I've only seen that on the first day I think yeah. But obviously no long guard this morning either. I guess Wednesday will be the next one. Mate, well, I don't know. I don't know what he's, uh, that, or it might not is. be actually winter yeah. summer, aren't we? Kind yeah. of. Yeah. Officially it is a summer time. Wasn't there. I wasn't out because of the wet weather. Uh, but, uh, I don't know if I was here Friday. Actually. No, Abdullah caught the trumpeter here. Oh, I, don't so know, it, I don't know what they did for parade. Uh, there would have. I mean, okay, so it would have been if he were uh, a trumpet solo for the king. It would have been, I guess, a long guard again. Or was he just practicing? I don't, know, I don't know what they mount for a long guard. I mean, do they have a standard bearer? I have absolutely the, no the idea. The guns are their colours. Yeah. That's I'd a very good point. bloody guns down. That's here. a very good question, actually. I wonder, do they? Didn't notice whether there were any colours when, uh, no, when the trumpeters um, came No, all I've seen is I've got a video. The trumpeter did his stuff here. Yeah. It says, uh, take the captain out. But he cut off before the full parade out the back. 
So uh, that, that, can't get the really staff, can you? Flipping out. <laughs> okay. Morning, Chief. All good? Yeah. yeah. Right, folks, let's go to the front. We are at the front. Yes, we are. And why are we at the front? Well, because the guard change is still ongoing. That's the reason we're that we're at the front. So, uh, the two dark horses. Uh, it's funny, actually. I've just realised that that has two minis, doesn't it? Oh, there's a dark horse. Yeah, I uh, had enough dark horse exposure yesterday, folks. But yes, this is another dark horse. Far better looking than yesterday's dark horse. Uh, beauty, actually, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's gone by crazy fast now. I'm actually generally surprised. It's almost like they just arrived. Uh, but I was told yesterday um, that they're going to be back a lot more often. Yeah, emphasis on a lot more often. I don't know if that means once or twice again this year, but... Oh, yeah, they're back in November, aren't they? Yeah, more of a regular thing with the rotation now. So let, let's hope so. Yeah, I don't know, folks, um, the emphasis on the word a lot more. Uh, I didn't sort of push or labour the point about, you know, how often, because I guess it's sensitive. But, yeah, the person that mentioned that to me... Uh, in the blues i was quite surprised because we all know that the king's troop are going to be back here for two weeks in the well, end of november through to december but what we didn't know uh is that apparently they are going to be here reasonably frequently uh throughout next year well that at the moment is the plan i don't know anything more about it uh if anyone does great give us uh, give us all the heads up in the comments i mean as far as i'm concerned uh, there's no such thing as too much King's Troop. There really isn't. Why? Because uh, I think you'd all agree, folks, they look flawless. And annoyingly enough, being here this morning, there is a chap, a gunner fellow, uh, in the other box. We will get him leaving. It's actually unfortunate because it's the first time I've been here and we had a male gunner on the horse. Uh, and he's now leaving. So I'm guessing he was probably mounted yesterday at some point uh, or if not he would have uh, had his first shift this morning it would have been the 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. shift this morning but goodness gracious me I mean look at how busy it is absolutely chocker blocker walker with uh, the tourists and other people super 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 busy which I guess is good uh, and not good all at the same time to be honest that said if everyone's happy and being well behaved <laughs> What can you say? You know, it is what it is, pretty much. Oops, somebody had an accident. Oh, that, that, in fact, a little meltdown. Um, I think one of the sisters spilt uh, spilt a bottle of water. Oh, people walking past the camera uh, onto her other sister, who then went bright red. That was the mum you just saw in the picture. Unfortunate, but hey, uh, I dare say it wasn't intentional. Goodness gracious me. Okay, so, I can, oh, here we are. So, so I can hear the horses, but now we can see the NCO. So any moment, we can expect the changeover. Folks, oh, laughs and smiles. Always a good start to the week, I would suggest. This horse is going to be super happy to be back at barracks and having his breakfast real soon. Notice, unlike the HCAP horses, how close the uh, King's Troop horses strut their stuff when they approach the box. It is our super duper NCO. Who I believe, apologies if I'm wrong folks, is uh, a Lance Bombardier. Okay, so, I'm guessing, ladies first. Yep, here we go. Oh, they almost went through the gate at the same time, actually. It was very well timed. Quick dismount coming up in the yard. Oh, 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 oh. No dismount. I have honestly no clue why they didn't dismount. I mean, normally if it's pouring with rain and the ground is wet, we don't have a dismount yet every time it's been wet here in the past week the king's troop have dismounted the two trooper sorry gunners that you just saw ride in no dismount straight into the stables uh my money would be on the fact that 
they want to get it done ASAP. I.e. the changeover complete uh, and on their merry way to, uh, to Hyde Park. Like I said, three days is, uh, is hard work. I thought for a second that that was beautiful popcorn. Oh, <laughs> oh this is like, no, John, it's not. I'm not popcorn. I look very similar. I also have a hogged mane, but I am not Monsieur Le Popcorn. Uh, on the subject of Messieurs, it uh, seems Mélenchon ended up winning in the French elections Thanks. yesterday. Uh, so Macron will be gone 2027, but between now and then, unless he resigns, he'll be uh, pretty much a lame duck sitting president. Uh, I'm not sure if that's good or bad, really. Got enough problems here and elsewhere, but certainly, uh, certainly troubling, just put it that way. It's remarkable how the, uh, how the polls were so massively wrong. You know, a week ago, oh, the Penn landslide yesterday. Exit polls are indicating that uh, it's actually going to be a left wing landslide, and boom, it was a left wing landslide. And in some respects, that's unfortunate because some of the uh, members of that left wing alliance, Mélenchon's alliance, have said publicly in France that they uh, are Hamas supporters. Which, to be honest, for a mainstream political party uh, about to assume power. Uh, in a Western European liberal democracy is mildly concerning uh, to say the least but enough about that folks that's, uh, that's for the French to deal with first thumbs up of the day ta-da he's like yes oh there we go so we've got the, the gate, new gatesman coming out and shitsman coming out going into the tunnel area So they're kind of zooming it, to be honest. It's like, yes! I think, to be honest, if the horse could speak, uh, and if he gave his consent to an interview with us here on the Lum City Walks, he would say, you know what? I am super, super, super happy that I'm here this morning. Yep, look, he's like, yes, I am. And the reason for that is he's outside. He's outside in the fresh air on a fairly balmy morning. Uh, that's the B A L M, not balmy as in like crazy, like balmy as in you know like humid, sticky, hot, warm. <laughs> Although it, it might end up being a balmy uh, as well as as well as a balmy morning. Guess we'll see. Lovely loud uh, verbal commands you can hear in the yard behind us. Okay? Very 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 loud verbal commands. I'll do my best. Uh, depending on how many people are here to capture the rest of the guns leaving. My very best. Uh, and then the final secondary group of the new guard arriving, if I can. So if, it's really gonna depend on how busy the gate is. Because at the moment, it's uh, it's pretty chocker, ladies and gents. Yep, pretty chocker indeed. Okay, so, stable woman, King's Troop stable woman. Lovely ladies with flowers. I'm not sure, guys, should I say yes when she proposes or not? What do we think? Yeah, but I can have a no, no. Darling, I'm here. She's, uh, she's looking at another man. That, in fact, is a gloriously pink outfit. What do we think, ladies? Very, very swish. The rest of us toys the ward, uh, and here is an equally swishly dressed. Uh, friend or partner. Good to see people making this much effort to come along and get pictures here early in the morning with the gunner and with the horse. I personally think ideal. I really do. Even the horse is like... Yep. <laughs> Professor of French Literature at UCL here. He's coming along uh, pondering how to begin his new novel, uh, Le Guard of the Horse in London. It's like, mon dieu, I did not realize that the horse is so beautiful. It is magnifique. Oh, grass is on now. We might end up with the same tourists here, changing over constantly for like the next hour, pretty much. I mean, I hope we don't, but we could. Look at how many there are, no? Crazy. One and two. Okay, so that was the bell. Hopefully, I will signify that shortly 
uh, we will have some gunners either arriving or departing. Okay, here is the professor. Good morning to you. This is a German Franco professor of French literature at UCL, uh, Theodore von Estolgo. He got what he wanted. He got his picture with the guard for the cover of his new book. So well done, professor. Okay, so back to the other end. Still looking for me. I'm here, sweetheart. Either give me the flowers and propose or I'm going to find someone else. Yep, she changed her mind. Sadly. Never mind. Okay, who's up next at this end? Bro. Here we go. Here we go, bro. Better spot here, actually, to capture the... Uh, the comings and goings, folks, uh, in terms of the rest of those horses leaving and new horses arriving. Oh, it's not raining, have no fear, guys, but there's also no sunshine, so I'm guessing that uh, she hasn't realised it's a dry day. Yeah, that would be my guess. I mean, not that it really matters either way. Horse. Please look at me. Smile. My picture, please. <laughs> what was the word? Was it vas? Was a German word, maybe? What's with pink uh, today? It seems to be a big colour this season. For some reason they're not keeping straight face at all. Toys almost look a little bit sort of bashful and shy about going up this morning. Not that that's inherently a bad thing. being marshalled away. Just don't hear any clippy noises, folks. All good. Colin was saying that um, there was a trumpeter the other day uh, with, with a standard or just a trumpet. Yeah. They had the standard, they carried the standard, like the blues. That's also the grey horse, no? The trumpeter. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, unless there's a long guard this Wednesday, that will be it. We won't see any more this year, sadly. Okay, you've got lots and lots of people arriving, folks, already. Uh, very surprising for, uh, for this early in the morning. But I'm thinking that between now and the end of the summer, this is what we're going to be seeing uh, an awful lot of. I mean, let's be honest, if you've just flown halfway around the world, as a lot of these people have, uh, raffles or wherever, <coughs> raffles wherever they're staying, you would not want to be spending your time sitting in the hotel room uh, when there are sites like this just outside. Let's be honest with you. Get closer. I'm not sure if you could hear the, uh, the parents just behind me there saying, move over, move over, get closer. I mean, uh, the kid was right. To, uh, to stay back. I mean, yeah, this horse is probably not going to be uh, doing an Ormond, but you never know. There was a day when Ormond never did an Ormond, but all of a sudden, for whatever reason, he decided, you know what? I'm sick of Taurus, and boom. That was the point he started uh, nipping everybody. Quite a few thumbs up this morning. I'm guessing that means that people are... Uh, expressing their approval. To try to avoid too many people uh, putting their big heads in the frame, guys. You just have them done sometimes, but I don't want to stand too close. It's not, well, to me, it doesn't really feel respectful to be like, you know, pretty much nose to nose with the horse. Right now, between the camera and the horse, we've got about 12 feet, I would say. 
give or take. Can uh, feel the bollard pushing into my backside. So, uh, yeah, pretty much as far back as it's possible to go. Okay, who's up next? What do we think? Really, really, really consistently pouring out. Which is good. It would be a lot better if they actually, instead of flooding behind me and standing here, followed uh, this Oxford graduate's final example and walked over in her Oxford University hoodie. just like this manure is it for sale how much per kilo look at it all I would like to take it back to my garden and grow some vegetables So he's, he's putting up a live as a live. I don't even understand how that's possible. I, I, I'm saying with that, I thought you <laughs> that's a year's video. This is part of the reason, to be honest, that I think to myself we're just not worth bothering with, with lives because if people are going to rebroadcast it and pretend it's their own live, it's like, what is yeah, the point, yeah. eh? realistically? And your voice is nice, no? Hey, I mean, uh, if they want to borrow it, copy it, go ahead, let them go ahead. Uh, we've got another massive group, folks. Lots of whom are wearing Oxford University t-shirts and hoodies. Look, here they are. Ta-da! This, uh, this dude on the right has been watching Ready Player One. He's got the glasses. Uh, yeah, don't worry about the uh, four guys that are already there getting their picture. Uh, or indeed about my camera. Coach three seniors, whatever it said on the sign, no idea to be honest. Let's uh, move the camera around a teeny bit. People being oblivious to it, as you see, folks, is uh, as much of a negative as it is a positive. Those two supposedly still haven't emerged from the stables, which, uh, yeah, is surprising to say the least. Especially as they went straight in with no dismount. Oh, got the first sacrifice of a new week. Take my child. Okay, uh, coach three are off. I'll buy coach three. Oh, I'm hearing Frenchies, folks. seem that anyone knows where they're actually going. It's all idling and it's still packed. Which is going to be a problem when there's new horse, when the, uh, sorry, well, the existing and the second group of new horses come through. It's uh, basically like a social club here at the moment, look. That's what happens when they close the, the Trocadero around the Eiffel Tower. They're all here instead. Oh my god, what is going on?
What on earth? They've just basically stopped here. The whole I pretty much uh, surrounded the horse. Look. Uh, and remarkably, folks, just in the nick of time, here they come. Whoops. Try not to go through that way. Almost went through the wrong way. And ladies and gents, uh, I'm delighted to tell you that the NCO, sorry, thank you. The NCO uh, that was at the rear of that group, uh, super glad to see him here. He was here last year and made a real impression. I haven't yet seen him out and about or heard any of his verbal commands, but wow, he's got a voice. Let's hope that uh, we'll be seeing some more of him uh, if he comes back over with that group on Wednesday. Yeah, in fact, it's funny because I was actually looking forward to seeing him here if I'm honest, probably more than anyone else because he's got such a unique and powerful voice uh, and he made a real impression in last year's videos. So it's good that he's still in the troop and that he was here, but a real pity we haven't actually seen him out and about kind of, you know, uh, engaging and giving lots of commands. However, uh, let's hope we'll see him again on Wednesday. So next up uh, will be the final group coming through, which I will obviously capture in this video as well. That was my sort of raison d'etre in terms of being in the yard. If I tell everybody to get behind the white line, we're going to have a problem because uh, there's not really enough space to move behind the white line, in all honesty. Look. Goodness me. Squished. <laughs> okay, so they're off. The, uh, <laughs> the donors are just leaving now. You can see them leaving the parade ground, which means that any moment the, uh, the second group of the new guard will come through the archway, come through the tunnel rather. Uh, and over toward the archway. Okay, so everyone's being asked to get behind the white line. I'm going to move myself back to be on the safe side. Oh. <laughs> no, not at all. I'm just wondering actually if they're going to be really strict with pushing us all back. I think they will. Oh yeah, they normally do. Actually. Okay, I'm going to get right on the corner here, folks. Uh, Office only want to get behind the white line. Sorry, we're a bit zoomed in there. However, we're still in, uh, in pole position. to wait a minute or two for uh, for those new horses hopefully we can zoom in people zoom themselves in front of the uh, camera I said spoke too soon what a surprise Okay, here we go. Clear big cloppy heaven in the tunnel. I think we'll just about get it uh, before these tourists block the view. Kind of. There we are. And two. And three. And four. Five. And I believe that's the last bombardier. NCO as number seven. I'm trying to get myself over a teeny weeny bit. It's crazy busy. Do you think they're letting us over that side? What do you reckon? They're going to come through side. anyway, aren't they? Yeah. yeah? Okay, we're allowed over. We're going to zoom over fast. Okay, people. Right, let me go up of the photographer's head. There we are. We are now in pole position, prime position rather. Sure if we've got a little bit too much light uh, in the lens, but hey, it's good as it's going to get. I think that's popcorn actually.
fantastic. That one, I think, I'll find his popcorn. Correct me if I'm wrong, people. Amazing. That's what we came for. That's what we got. Ta-da. Right, now the mad bit. Mad the, bit you know, what the hell? Can you pass me that, Colin? The, the bottle. Can you grab that from me? Just pull it out. Thank you so much. Right, folks, let's get to the front. It is absolutely chocker walker blocker. One second. I'm going to try and get us in front of the horse here before this massive surge of people come through the gate uh, and there's absolutely no space. Okay, so we're pretty much as head on as we can be for the moment. And this is what we're dealing with guys this morning at the gates. As you can see, thoroughly packed. And uh, to be honest, this being the first change over the week, I'm genuinely surprised that there are this many people. I mean, pleasantly, but also genuinely. Should that not be gen genu genuine pleasant? Anyway, whatever. So it begins. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks that early in the day, folks, I would suggest. I knew it was going to happen, yeah. I think to myself, we're going to get a massive head in the frame and boom, it happened. bad enough. That noise you can hear behind is uh, there's a PA system on the tour bus. An extremely loud one actually. Sports team. No idea uh, where they're from. are enjoying taking their pictures more than even having their pictures taken. Notice that most of them are being super hesitant. Everyone's sort of wondering. But most are not going forward. Guys, we're leaving. <laughs> oh, they're actually wearing University of Kent uh, hoodies. Exchange students, I guess. Definitely not uh, English, you know, Italian. Yeah. 
Get away and don't touch. Yet anybody uh, seen anybody dressed like uh, my grandmother's kitchen curtains? But same amount of time, folks. Wait for it. That, that's him. That's London City Walks. <laughs> one thing that has surprised me actually is that there doesn't seem to be any one horse in particular that really stands out in terms of its behavior more than the others. Now what I mean is, we haven't seen, for example, for example, a really super nippy horse. No one's been bitten that I know of this year by a king's troop horse. Equally, we haven't actually yet seen one that's uh, been super curious, sticking its head into people's bags and things. Don't get too close because you will bite your hair. So I haven't actually yet seen the uh, the gatesman at the front. Also curious. Look, I'm here. This is me. Take my picture. I can't actually see who on earth he's waving at. I don't think he can either because there's no one there. Curiously. Ah, I just realised he's, uh, he's waving at the MOD drone which is flying in the sky above us. Few uh, loops already, and folks, we have actually got uh, the tallest tourist I've ever seen. I'm not joking. Wait, look, look at this, look at this guy standing in front of the sign. There is no sign. He's uh, fundamentally just blocks it. Whoa, six, seven, six, eight, maybe. That honestly, I think I'm pretty sure that's a, yeah, the tallest tourist we've ever seen. He's even having to bend down to get himself in the in the family shop. Strapping fellow. I 
should have asked him actually whether it's true that there is alien life. Uh, let's be honest, he would have seen it before any of us will. Uh, meanwhile, guys. <laughs> you think you've seen everything. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I don't always feel comfortable when, uh, uh, when there's a gent on his knees in front of me. It's not really my thing. Nothing against it, but it just doesn't float my boat. Someone. The important thing to remember is that some tourists regret nothing. Okay? It's almost like somebody might at some point uh, come along with that on a t-shirt, and maybe one day. Sorry, the gun is massively eyeballing everyone today, uh, including our uh, esteemed regular here heading through the gate now uh, to perform his duties in the yard. In fact, if he can get through the gate, that is, look, uh, it's still pretty full on, as you can all see. And then I'm going to stand by the fence. Generally wondering uh, how the gunners bear this level of humidity. Fluffy Busby on your head in these uh, these temps. Uh, hello. Guys, we've got a an interloper. I don't know her, I think she just walked over to pick my pockets. Oh, wow. So this girl asked the gunner if she could feed the horse a carrot. You see that? And the gunner nodded her approval whilst the girl is videoing it. I'm not sure if it was a whole carrot or part of a carrot. That was interesting, the fact that she asked and got the nod. I wasn't expecting that actually, that's the first time I think I've ever actually seen somebody uh, feeding a carrot on the camera. Kind of cute to be honest that uh, that she came along with a bit of carrot. I would have actually asked her, but she's gone. Uh, and I know that if I move, I'll lose this spot, folks. This is exactly I'm not going to the other end. Number one, it's busy here, and number two, it's so so packed. People just pushing in, look. speedy US tourists uh, and this guy is what we're still dealing with. No people here. Mad busy look at it. Oh, 
I'm starting to wonder actually what uh, what's going to happen if we get to the stage whereby there's physically not enough space for everyone at the front. It's a pity actually having to put so much in front of this horse that we don't know the name. I've got maybe five or six names uh, in total, but I, I don't know which horse those names apply to. Rain grab, what do we think? <laughs> uh, oh, hold on. <laughs> we've got, an we've got a, a mother girl giving a carrot. What is this, like a carrot troop or something? That, that's a weird coincidence. She's not with the others. It's completely separate. The girl that just arrived and gave a carrot again. This horse is going to end up uh, overweight by uh, by the end of shift. Gunner again gave the nod, folks. We all saw it. Except there was no uh, rice in on that carrot or anything else for that matter. Of course, he seems to be loving it. Look, he's having a good old nosh up, munching the carrot. I mean, to be fair. That obviously would make a really memorable event for a kid coming here. Uh, I know my kids, in fact, would would love to come and give the uh, the horse some carrots. But what I'm thinking is that if that becomes a norm, is there such a thing as too many carrots? Equestrians, for example, could a horse eat a hundred carrots? Or if you put a horse in a, a carrot factory <laughs> and just left it there, does it know to stop eating, or does it just basically just stuff itself until its stomach explodes? Senorita is back. Except that no one else brings any carrots along, people. Just what he's going to end up throwing them up at this rate. Oh, can anyone translate the, uh, the Mandarin to my left? Are they saying touch it or don't touch it? Get closer or don't get closer? If only I were a polyglot folks, so I can understand all the conversations here it would make it uh, a lot easier, wouldn't it? To explain what's going on to some of the, uh, the visitors. questions you will agree you've suddenly got more than your horsey fix this morning haven't you wow the second that people stop uh, rolling up constantly oh he's got a leaf he's going to feed the horse a leaf uh, i will switch to the other end is really lovely and attentive to uh, the request of the younger visitors here. Notice this, she's uh, really on it, giving them the nod. It's great actually though to see that so many young people are, are asking instead of just walking over and you know, being presumptuous. But even better to see that uh, that agreement from the gunner. Oh, here we go. 
There it is, folks. It was only a matter of time, wasn't it? Lucky the gunner was on it, and uh, she knew the girl's intentions before she'd even touched the rail. This is a friend of the rain grabber. <laughs> Right, other end. I will uh, see what happens at the other end, folks, uh, between now and the end of this video. Why? Well, because I think it's only appropriate that uh, that we switch. Not only that, the chance of someone else coming along and giving the horse a carrot or something else at that end, I would say is pretty much non-existent. So I have a little uh, wander in the yard uh, and then we'll head back out to the front. It's pretty chill actually looking around in fact. We've got Gates Woman, this side. And again notice folks that not once yet, actually wait let me ask you the have we seen the, uh, the Gates Woman? Notice that they almost seem to have stopped. They're not doing rounds anymore, are they? Or are they? They don't come out. These ones don't come out. That's, that's all. They need to just stay in one spot. Have you seen them come out at all last well, week? I have seen some come out. One or two. Once I've seen one come out in a week, yeah. So you think probably the boss has said, if you want to go out, know. go out. They, if not, they, don't they bother. They know to them if they want to go out. Is yeah. okay? They don't. I know they've just brought a bottle of... A jug of water out to them. It's bloody huge. I just noticed myself. It's really huge. Yeah, it's nice. It? Uh, it's, it's a lot better weather than when we had, isn't it? Yeah, I, I mean, I'll take this to, to yesterday or the last yeah, few days. I don't, know, I don't know when we're going to get a decent weather back yet. I mean, I'm, you know what? Funny thing is, I think we're going to be standing here in August crying that it's 35. We'll be minding Yeah, we will. You know we will. <laughs> Guaranteed. Yeah, I'm definitely expecting folks. It's happened before. Not last year, but the year before. It was pretty cold. It was, uh, where's the summer? myself included and then boom it hit I remember it well spending uh, many days on the on Wittering Beach uh, yes we do actually have beaches that are worth visiting here in the UK not a lot folks I personally would say that the best or one of the best beaches that's accessible from London roughly two hours in the car give or take uh, West Wittering visit West Wittering lovely uh, visitors and uh, tourists coming to the UK if you're coming in the summer and you want to get a little taste of British seaside without you know the, the tackiness or arcades and all that sort of cheap rubbish, West Wittering. Private car park, great facilities, a glorious sandy beach. You can walk for yards and yards and yards. Really spectacular beach and uh, very clean. Bahi, don't take my word for it, folks. Google it. West Wittering. Gave the carrots, but I'm thinking that's weird that one came and then five minutes later, a completely different one. Yeah, 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 yeah very strange. Well, that was interesting, folks. Uh, a tourist, no idea why, uh, actually just pushed me out of the way. <laughs> very small tourist walked behind me, so I was a bit like, huh? and uh, pushed me out of the way. Thank you to that lovely tourist uh, for pushing me out of the way. Much appreciated. Anyway, regrettably, ladies and gents, I am utterly bewildered vis-a-vis -vis how quickly that hour went by. As you can see, it's absolutely chocker block of walker here. Packed. White all look. Not only the traffic, but the people that are arriving. The horse is like, yes, you are right, there are too many people. 
tour guides already arrived and populated the entire line in the yard, unsurprisingly. So, uh, right, well, return to where we started for the last few minutes of today's broadcast, lovely viewer. Oh, and there it is, a big head. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Just about to smash his head on the camera without even seeing it. Oh, there's me talking about no nippers. There's one. Nippy nippy. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> How is the gun? I'm not laughing at that. Ah. Now, could this be uh, a distant cousin of Ramond, people, in the making? I'm not sure if the horse actually did just bite him or he was pretending. Because that was a pain look on his face briefly then. Very strange. Okay, our last chorus in today's video. Well done, ladies. Oops. It's okay. Perfect timing. They're just opening up the back doors to the box. Uh, we should see me to say. Back soon, guys. Man, that went by fast, didn't it? It went by really, really, really fast. This horse is doing a great job of actually scaring people off. You see this? Doesn't like being crowded at all, this horse. Which is good. Right, folks. I know I said it once already. I say it again. I'm out of here. Back soon, guys. Bye for now.